What's up, Virgo Collective? Thank you for joining me for this month's energy reading. Um, my name is Keita, and I will be bringing forth um, the best message for your highest good at this time. If the um, message resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, um, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I am just lighting up some um yerba santa which has been helping me with my cough and then i'm gonna get started um with you guys's reading so i hope the message finds you well if it does not find you well i hope something is said that leaves you well um at this point i've already done Pisces through um, Libra because I'm going backwards this time so you may want to check those out as well especially if the title resonates with you in any way or if you have any of those placements in your chart I'm going to be using the um, spirit with the end tarot which I love I just love how simple the imagery is in this deck I got this one from a um, metaphysical store in Houston I think it was when I went to Houston around this time last year um, and I've used it quite a bit because when I just need a simple message get straight to the point not a lot of symbolism um, to read through I pull through uh, I pull out this deck and then I'm going to clarify you all is reading with the um, wisdom of the hidden oracles, which is another one of my faves. And I get intuitive nudges when I specifically need to um, pull from this deck. So, Father God, Mother Earth, ancestors and spirit guides, I thank you for your love and light. And come to you with gratitude, asking for the best message for the highest good of the Libra. Virgo Collective. <laughs> oh, the Virgo Collective, what message would you have me to bring forth for my Virgo people at this time? Oh, Shay. There's two cards that want to come out. The sun. Happiest card in the deck. Having clarity, enlightenment, happiness, childlike innocence, being able to see things um, clearly and having vitality. It's represented by the number, I think the sun is the number 19 in the tarot deck. And whenever you see the sun in a uh, reading, regardless of what messages come out, why am I sounding like a little boy today? <clears throat> Regardless of what other messages come out in a reading, the sun always lets me know that everything is going to be okay. There's going to be a positive outcome. So we're going to see what other cards um, are coming out as well. Because underneath the sun, we have the five of wands. Y'all saw me shuffle these cards, right? But this has been coming out for me personally. Um as well and what's coming to me is that with the sun you're being clear about having clarity about not only what makes you happy but what conflict may come with that and not major conflict the five of wands represents like petty shit competition um like petty arguments and you know dealing with haters <laughs> or other people's opinions that go against uh, what you've decided, how you feel, what makes you happy. So there's some element of the five of wands where there's a bit of conflict about what it is that you're clear on, what it is that you've been enlightened about, what it is that um, makes you happy. But as you can see here, it ain't that big of a deal, especially if you don't put a lot of stock into it because you still got all of this sunny sacral chakra energy here passion 
and you willing to be in battle in a way um because whatever this sun card energy is it's something that you're passionate about especially if it relates to where you are spiritually love where you have elevated to and healed to as it relates to love what makes you happy what fulfills you what makes you feel that childlike innocence you're passionate about it so you ready to stand on the front lines for it but like i said with the five of wands this is conflicting energy so it's not necessarily something that you're gonna actually have to go to war with people about or some big knockdown drag out situation you know what i'm saying like it's it's more like petty conflict and just having to speak your piece on a situation or stand up for uh, what it is that you are. As you can see, this man is um, he's doing a mudra and he's in lotus pose and a yogic pose and the sun is rising, whatever it is that you're in this energy about. And you you willing to defend it against not just one person, but whoever <laughs> whoever wanted you know what i'm saying also what's coming to me is that okay it's like you got main character um you got main character energy and his focus is on this one uh enemy or person who's in opposition or whatever but you also got this battle and you got the homies in the background ready for whatever as well that speaks to the the um ancestors having your back in this situation as well fighting battles for you that are seen and unseen in support of this sun card energy whatever makes you happen your enlightenment your awakening um that sort of thing so I want my voice back. What the fuck? <laughs> this is my first time talking today. So the fact that this is what's coming out <laughs> is tripping me the fuck out. Like, huh? I've been walking around quiet all morning. And now that I'm talking, it's like, what the hell is this about? At the bottom of the deck, seven of pentacles. This is investment. This is taking your time. This is being patient. This is reassessing. <sighs> this is slow and steady winning the race. This person has taken their time to um, cultivate and and to um, to harvest because whatever was grown is now being like uprooted. So this is the the harvest, the reaping of uh, reward after having put in hard work, after having defended or gone to battle in some way about what it is that you're clear about and makes you happy. And underneath that is the four of wands. And I'm going to turn this deck on because I'm, I'm going to be pulling cards up for forever. This is what you're investing in. This is what you wanted. This is your harvest, the four of wands safety security marriage um again that sacral chakra energy it's a lot of ones so this speaks to a lot of passion a lot of action a lot of forward movement um and progression is requiring taking a step back or returning to something though because at the top of the deck you had the sun and the five of wands right this is a lot of fire energy y'all make sure to look up the significance of the element of fire spiritually uh but you're going from the five of wands to the four of wands this is reminding me of this song by um uh, jaheen trying to find my way back way back to you baby Trying to find my way back, way back to you, baby. Trying to find my way back, way back to you, to us, to love. If you haven't heard that song, I put it on the community board. I'm not remembering all of the words. I know, I, now I got to go back to listen to some old Jaheem albums because Ghetto Hymns, 
uh was it ghetto hymns i think it was ghetto hymns ghetto hymns ghetto love no ghetto hymns is uh is uh dave hollister jaheem it was ghetto something i think it was ghetto love but whatever he got a few albums that 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 that, that, that slap so i'm gonna have to go back and listen to some jaheem now but this is you finding your way back to your happy place to again with this sun energy uh, what makes you feel like home comfort stability for some of you uh union family marriage that is the energy of uh the four of wands and in some cases the four of wands can represent relocating new finding a new home uh but you're not doing it alone you got somebody with you so whether this is speaking to the integration of your masculine and feminine energy or having a uh counterpart who represents the opposite energy that you're most dominant with because we all have masculine and feminine energy this is union in some way this is community um in some way and you're willing to go against these people and face this energy with the five of wands to get to back to the four of wands now this is not a person that you're returning to it's an energy for many of you, you, you've been through things, you've been jaded, you've had some tough experiences. And the four of wands and the five of wands together gives you the nine of wands. You've had those experiences, but you, the nine of wands represents perseverance. The wounded warrior who, yeah, I've been hurt, I've been afflicted, I've been wounded, I've gone through some shit. But I'm going to press forward and still move toward my goal. My, heal, my wounds will heal um in due time i still got some strength left and i'm gonna give it all i got with what i got um to move toward my end goal to completion of this cycle to obtaining that which i so passionately desire because only passion will have you persevering toward your goals the way um the nine of wands does um, in most images of the nine of wands, this is somebody with bandages on, they bruised, their clothes is torn, and they still standing tall. Like, okay, the road up to this point has been tough, but I'm not giving up. This is you not giving up on this energy or what makes you happy, what you now have clarity about, what you this 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 feeling of centeredness and balance. And being able to manifest and draw down source energy into your body to be the magician and to create the 3D reality that you desire. Um, this is celebration. This is something to celebrate. And that's why this card often represents um, homecomings as well as um, marriage. So we're going to clarify this reading with the... Um, wisdom of the hidden realms please clarify this reading for the virgo collective at this time the priest the prison waif self-sabotage poverty and consciousness i mean self-sabotage and poverty com consciousness represented by the number four so we got no two number four energies here so far and it fell on top of the sun you're now clear about how you've been imprisoning yourself with self-sabotage how opportunities have been presented to you and you've been self-sabotaging so that you don't have to be vulnerable and step up to the plate or being trying to be in control of the narrative opposed to walking by faith and trusting where you're being intuitively uh led you self-sabotage by being stuck in your head and not trusting that all things are working for your good and that you have the capacity to show up um as needed as situations present themselves to help you mature and grow um you're now clear about why you self-sabotage um in connection to your childhood wounding or maybe you don't have all the details but you now know and have an awareness 
of the fact that um, in some way it's related to your previous experience uh, relative to your previous experience, your past, or even your past lives, why you self-sabotage, why you've been in poverty consciousness, why you felt like you can't make certain moves unless you got it all together and things are perfect. Even if you're not a Virgo, you may have been embodying shadow per, uh, Virgo energy. Um, that's why this you may be resonating with this reading, even though you're not a Virgo or don't have Virgo in your chart. Because Virgo is very much an energy of perfection and will strategize some shit to no end uh, until they feel like it is per perfect. And we all know perfection does not really exist. Everything has flaw. Everything has its light and its dark. And darkness ain't always a flaw. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it all comes to serve us. Another thing that's a Virgo shadow is that with that sense of perfection, Virgo's hard on the people out here. Y'all gonna find something wrong with somebody. <laughs> and that could very much be an energy of self-sabotage. It's an energy of lack and poverty consciousness. But you see in lack and poverty and and um imperfection and flaw in other people as a result or reflection of seeing imperfection and flaw in yourself and then you project that onto other people and use that as an excuse for why you can't move forward in friendship connection uh financial partnership with the other person so it's just like an energy of creating a smoke screen that keeps you safe from having to elevate and mature and evolve but it's also keeping you from being in your happy place success uh union reaching this type of energy where you have something worth celebrating and somebody uh to celebrate with um and so you have the prison wave and then you have the altar priestess with preparation prayer and sacred ritual um this not only can be speaking to this seven of pentacles energy but also this four of wands energy where you are grounding a legacy you are grounding something that um you are grounding something that's worth investing in and bringing whatever resources you have currently to that situation you're preparing and you are uh, participating in sacred ritual in some way. You are walking prayer, um, living each day in gratitude for the harvest that you've received. And you're walking daily in celebration, in union, in community, in alignment, uh, balanced with that which you once were praying for. And the number thir 39 breaks down to a 12, which gives you a 3. Yeah, alignment alignment you have what you've been praying for coming into your 3d reality and so it's requiring that you um put forth more effort in that situation um not even trying to go there because i be all day and i want to read <coughs> the message of the prison way because if you have not reached a level of evolving to understand where you've been sabotaging, self-sabotaging or moving, living, embodying poverty consciousness, um, I want to provide some understanding about where that is creating conflict in your life, where that's creating instability in your life and blocking your abundance in some way. It says, when the prison wave arrives in his realm as your ally, he comes to remind you of the law of paradoxical intent. Your own self-sabotaging thoughts and hidden beliefs are, in fact, preventing you from your highest good. You might believe that you're doing all you can to manifest your reality, but perhaps you're giving in to thoughts such as the following. I can't do this. I'm unworthy. I fail, so why try? I don't deserve this. I'm unlovable. In fact, you're locked in a prison of your own making. That's good news because it means that you have the key to let yourself out. This is a sign that you need to spend more time with yourself addressing those beliefs that counter your hard work to get out. You can change them if you want to. You don't want to stay in prison, do you? Take inventory of your thoughts. Let yourself out of jail 
and spend a few minutes outdoors in gratitude. It's time to let the sun shine in. Um, this very much speaks to being in a mental prison, being in stuck energy, not embodying and tapping into being grateful for your freedom, your liberation, your sovereignty. It's a matter of you making a choice. The choices that you've been making up to this point are keeping you limited, keeping you bound. But you are a limitless being. You are an abundant being. And so it is time to shift your mental uh, capacity. There's a reading that I did. And I think it was a divine masculine reading. Whatever it was, there's an image of a man with chains being wrapped around his head. And he's unlocking the... Um, oh, my phone. He's unlocking the chains that are around his mind because where we are no longer enslaved physically, there are still chains around our uh, minds and spirits that we need to free ourselves from. And it's nobody's responsibility to do that for us but ours. So that requires some reparenting. It requires affirming yourself and reversing the effects of telling yourself those negative things that I just read out about not feeling worthy. If God brought you to it, he'll lead you through it. She'll lead you through it. And so Whatever is being presented to you in terms of this full one's energy that makes you feel comfortable, that makes you feel safe and secure, that makes you feel like part of the collective community, uh, family. Um, the only thing stopping you is you. If it's been presented to you, it's for you. If you don't have what you feel like it takes to sustain it, try God. Because the way God works is you take one step, God will take 10 on your behalf. You'll start to see things shift in your 3D reality. And where the seven of uh, pentacles? You'll start to see return on investments that you've made, reward for hard work that you've put in internally and externally. You'll see it in your 3D reality. But as long as you're in this prison, you're going to get what you've always got. Her head is down and the sun is peeping through whatever opening uh, is available to her, shining on her from uh, from the back. Kind of in the same, it's in the background the same way the sun is here. Because you have the support of the Most High God, the Son, the Son of God. You have the support of Christ, Christ consciousness. You have the support of Ra. If you're into comedic and um, comedic spirituality, look into the energy of uh, the sun god Ra. You have that support leading you creatively, passionately, for many of you even sexually, uh, into this, this energy here, to the altar. <laughs> Because that's very much what this looks like. It looks like a wedding, a ceremony, like a beach wedding, as a matter of fact. Leading you to this, you have everything that you need within you and at your disposal. And if it's not within you, you have access to everything that the universe has to offer. So I was supposed to be looking for that reading so that I can <coughs> point y'all to it. Hold on. Matter of fact, I'm just going to go here. to look for it because it was a minute ago that I did that reading but it directly relates to this message and can help you dive deeper into that mental imprisonment if uh yeah divine masculine reading celebrate from invisible shackles to invincible love from invisible shackles with the number 31 breaking down to a four, self-sabotage, poverty consciousness, the prison wave. To the four of wands. Celebration. <coughs> All 
I am going to put this on the uh, community board for you all to go back and reference if you want to take a deeper dive into that message where I'm actually saying a lot of what I'm already saying to you guys here. I hope this message found you well. If it did not find you well, I hope that it leads you well and it's something was said that helps you to better navigate your current or future situation. Um, I pray that you all reach this four of wands energy that is calling forth courage on your part with this five of wands energy and valuing this four of wands so much that you don't give a damn about anything else that tries to get, stand in your way of it including your shadows and that it pushes you so much this reason to celebrate that you commit to integrating and working with healing uh, those things that lie in your shadows that contribute to your self-sabotage that contribute to your poverty consciousness but with that being said y'all until next time peace